Your phone may be spying on you right now. You don't have to open the camera or even touch it. Hidden apps and silent settings can turn it on without your knowledge, snapping photos, recording videos, and sending them straight to the internet, all without leaving a trace. And here's the worst part. Most people have no idea it's even happening. In this video, I'm going to expose the hidden camera permissions buried inside your phone, show you exactly how to find them, and most importantly, how to shut them down for good. If you care about your privacy and don't want to end up as someone else's secret footage, watch this video to the end. This could be the most important thing you do on your phone today. Before we dive in, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on powerful phone tips, simple tech solutions, and important privacy updates. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to find out exactly what permissions the camera app on your phone has, including ones that are often hidden from plain view. Open your phone's settings then scroll down and tap on Apps or App Management, depending on your phone model. Use the search bar at the top and type Camera. Then select the Camera app from the results. Tap on Permissions. Here you'll likely see common permissions like Camera, Microphone, used for video recording, Location, to tag where photos were taken, Photos and Videos, nearby devices, and Notifications. But don't stop there. That's not everything. There are often additional hidden permissions that apps can access. And some of them are far more powerful than they seem. To reveal them, tap the three-dot menu in the top right corner of the screen and select All Permissions. This will show you a complete list of what the camera app can do behind the scenes, including things you may not have knowingly allowed. Now you'll see a full list of capabilities the app has. One surprising permission is Full network access. This means the camera app can connect to the internet and potentially send photo or video data without your knowledge. This is where the danger lies. If an app can access your camera and the internet, it could theoretically record you and upload it to a remote server. That's why we need to start limiting this access. Now go ahead and turn it off. Go back to the app info screen for the camera. Scroll down to change system settings, tap on it, and turn off the toggle next to Allow Permission. By disabling this automatic camera access, we can ensure that the camera only activates when you open the app manually, putting you in full control. This will prevent any unwanted apps or system processes from secretly using your camera without your knowledge. It doesn't affect the camera when you open it, but it blocks hidden or scheduled activation. Even when you're not actively using the camera, it could still be running in the background. This not only drains your battery, but more importantly, it creates a serious security risk. With a camera running in the background, malicious apps or processes could have access to it and could secretly record video or take photos without your knowledge. This is where restricting background activity becomes crucial. By stopping the camera app from running in the background, we make sure that it's only active when you open it yourself preventing any apps from accessing it behind your back. So let's go ahead and put a stop to that. Go back to the camera app info screen. Scroll down until you see the battery option. This is where you'll manage how the camera app interacts with your phone's power. Tap on battery and you'll be presented with different options for how the app is allowed to use power in the background. Change the setting from optimized or unrestricted to restricted. By setting the camera app to restricted, you're ensuring that it can't run in the background and silently activate without your permission. This will help save battery and give you peace of mind, knowing that your phone isn't being used to spy on you when you're not actively using it. Did you know you can actually check which apps have accessed your camera over the past week? This feature is a powerful tool to spot any suspicious or unexpected behavior. To do this, go to your settings, scroll down and tap on security and privacy, then find and tap on privacy dashboard or simply privacy, depending on your device. 
Once you're there, tap on Permissions Usage or just Permissions. Change the time range to last seven days and select Camera. You'll now see a list of apps that have accessed your camera along with the exact time and date of each access. Now take a moment to ask yourself, did I open this app during that time? Was I actually using the camera when that access happened? If something doesn't add up, or if you see an app accessing your camera at a time when you weren't using it, that app might be using your camera without your permission. If you find anything suspicious, go ahead and turn off the app's camera access. To do this, simply tap on the app and either select Don't Allow or Restrict its camera permission. This will stop the app from accessing your camera in the future without your consent. Most people don't realize this, but certain apps that are designed to monitor or control your phone remotely can actually activate your phone's camera without you knowing. And that's a serious privacy risk, especially if the wrong app has that power. These apps are commonly used for things like parental control, so parents can monitor their children, phone tracking and device management by schools or companies, or anti-theft protection tools used to locate a lost or stolen phone. Apps such as Google Family Link, Find My Device, Life360, AirDroid, or even tools installed by your employer or school may be able to remotely control certain functions of your device, including, in some cases, silently turning on the camera. The real danger is if someone installs one of these apps on your phone without your knowledge, they could potentially use it as a spy tool to take photos or videos of you without your consent. So what can you do? You need to check for a hidden setting on Android called Device Administrator Access. This feature allows an app to take full control of your device. If an app has this level of access, it can lock or wipe your phone, track your location, install or uninstall other apps, prevent you from deleting it, and yes, even access your camera or microphone without asking. That's why it's extremely important to review which apps have this permission. To check for this, open your phone's settings, scroll down and tap on security, sometimes labeled as privacy and security, tap on other security settings. Then look for a section called device admin apps or device administrators. Here you'll see a list of apps that have powerful system level control over your phone. Some apps you might recognize and trust, like Google Find My Device or Parental Control, if you installed it yourself. But if you see something unfamiliar or suspicious, that's a red flag. Some spyware apps will even disguise themselves with names like System Update or Service Control to avoid detection. If you find an app that looks suspicious, tap on it, then tap Deactivate to remove its device admin access. After that, go back to your apps list and uninstall it completely from your phone. This step is essential to stop it from spying on you or using your camera without your permission. And that's it for this video. Now you know exactly how to protect your phone's camera from being used without your permission. These simple but powerful steps can help you take back control of your privacy and stop hidden apps or settings from spying on you. If this video helped you, click the like button. It really supports the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on future videos. All right, see you in the next one.